Hello and welcome back. My name is John, the RPG Lord. In this video series we're gonna learn how to create a dungeon that your players are gonna love to explore. And today we're gonna focus on assigning events to the rooms of the dungeons. I will go over nine different functions a room can have and how to properly assign them to make your dungeon absolutely awesome for your players. In the previous videos, we have drawn our dungeon, we have uh, created the individual rooms, we talked about logic, you know, how a dungeon is made up. But right now, we have an empty dungeon, and a dungeon without any events is like an espresso machine without coffee, okay? While it looks nice and beautiful, it's kind of useless. So, we're going to talk about what functions, or sorry, not what functions, but what events are going to happen in each room. Well, some of you might think, okay, so I just throw a few monsters in and a few treasures and that's it. And while that is correct, if that's all you want to do and your dungeon is finished, you know, then that's good. But you have to look at this more like spices in cooking. A little bit or the right amount is going to make it awesome. You use too much and you're going to be having an adventure that is just too overpowering. You don't have enough, it's going to be bland and your players are going to be bored. So you have to find the right measure of things. Now, what are the different events? I mean, yes, we know about treasures, we know about fights, but I want to go or uh, nine different things that a room can actually be. Now, when you look here, this is a little larger for you guys. What can be the prime purpose of a room? The prime purpose can be a fight. Now, fight itself, fight can be there to advance storyline, to create an event, to hand out treasure make the party fight for their life, or it can be simply a random encounter. So fights in itself can have a purpose. Then, of course, there's treasure. Is it going to be generic treasure, treasure to the storyline, meaning like a quest item they have to find? Is it cursed treasure, meaning they are all happy they found something, but in reality you have just pretty much given them a kick in the butt? Is the treasure trapped? Or is the treasure just an illusion? All of these are possibilities. Then, of course, there's puzzles and riddles. Is that puzzle necessary for the storyline? Is it a life and death situation? Is it just to give you out treasure? Or does it have another purpose? Then, of course, there's rooms that are traps, and I'm not talking about like, okay, there's a chest and it's trapped. No, I'm talking about a whole room being a trap. Uh, example for that in movies would be like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, where uh, Indy and Shorty walk into the room and all of a sudden the spikes come down. That would be a room that is a trap. Now, what's the purpose of the trap? Is it to protect treasure? Is it just to delay or kill the party? Is it simply there to warn the inhabitants of the dungeon? Or is the trap itself starting a major event? Then, of course, they can run into NPCs in the room. And, you know, we're going to do a whole video on creating NPCs, but one of my favorite ones is the red herring. What is a red herring? Um, it is a decoy. It is purely designed to lead your party astray. Give them information that will confuse them. Give them an event that's completely there to throw them off the track. That's the whole point of a red herring. Then, could there be something in connection with the storyline? Okay? Uh, do they have to come to this room for some reason just to complete the adventure? Then, of course, is there a secret or a hiding place of some kind? Maybe a place where they can rest or where treasure is hidden. 
all of that. And the last part, that's, you know, it's just a functional part of that building a dungeon. You know, that's your famous empty room that nothing is happening, but it's, it's just there. Now, let's ask ourselves the question, how much of it is too much and how much if it is too little? Take a look at here at my chart. This will, to a certain degree, depend on your party. Example, if you have a party that is really into role playing and talking with the NPCs, if you give them a dungeon that is one fight after the other, I guarantee you're going to lose them. If you have a party that is really into fighting and you just bombard them with puzzles, they're not going to like you for that. So look at this as kind of like the spice in your cooking. You have to put the right spices in and give it a nice blend. Now, as I said, this will depend from party to party. And in a later video, we're going to talk about, you know, getting a sample of what your group wants. But in general, what I have found out in over 35 years of being a GM, the groups are pretty much the same. They want a little bit of everything. So when you look at these percentages here, uh, you want to give them about a quarter of the rooms should be fights. 10% should be like skill checks. Then they should have a good amount of role playing for them. Then one room, you should add a puzzle or so. I I strongly encourage not to do too many riddles unless your group demands it. And of course, there's storyline and party interaction. Now, let's go back to our finished dungeon. Here's our dungeon. We have drawn it. It looks beautiful. So, for what we're going to be doing today, is we are going to design, we're going to give these headings here to our individual rooms. We're gonna, now, we only have a nine point, I mean a nine room dungeon, which means we shouldn't do too many fights. So let's take a look, where do I want to fight? I think it would be good fight if we put it here in the main hall. So the great hall, all I'm going to do is write myself here for later, fight. Where else am I going to put a fight? Well, we know that this here is the treasure room. So how about I'm going to put our boss monster, whatever that's going to be, in room eight. All I need to know is that I have to put fights in there. Let's take a uh, take a look what else we have. We have treasure and that's already assigned. We, so we don't need to do that. Now, we have talked about in a previous video that we're going to trap the entrance. But how about we put another trap in the library? Okay, our library is number seven. So let's put a trap here. And let's put, okay, treasure we already said, I'll need to write that, but just so that you see how I set this up, I'm going to write it here. So we have treasures, fight, trap. Now, what else can we do? Um, I think we're going to do, we are going to put, an NPC slash storyline connection into the prison cell. Okay. Notice that you can mix them, of course. Okay, so we have number one, two, 
three. So we have four more room air rooms left. How about we put How about we, uh, we put a puzzle, so that you have to get to the treasure through a puzzle, we can put a puzzle here. So we have that. And just to throw him off, I'm going to put a red herring into the storage room. So we have a red herring in here to lead them astray. So we have dormitory, kitchen, one, two, three, three rooms left. Hmm. How about we put, eh, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to put, eh, put another fight in. Let's put that into, let's put it into the dormitory. Notice that I haven't done anything else besides, you know, saying, okay, that's what's going to happen in this room. And there's a point for that when in the next video when we're going to start assigning monsters i'm going to show you why that is the reason so we only have the kitchen area and the sacristy a left um how about how uh, how about we're going to do a storyline connection here for the sacristy. Which leaves us only with the kitchen area. And we can leave that blank nothing is happening there so there you go we now know for our next video that we have to assign fights here that we have to create a distraction for them that we have to do some storyline here create some traps and this is it well I once again wish you a happy new year. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and of course comment below. I would love to hear and read all your comments. And remember, there is only one RPG Lord. I hope you have a good day.